<clears throat> what up YouTube? It's your boy JSM801 and I am back today with something special. I haven't shot a review or even a custom video in a long time, guys. I've been super busy. <sighs> with that being said, let's just get into it. You already know the box. You've seen them everywhere. Um, just to take a second about this whole release. This whole re release was a disaster. It was crazy. People were upset. The rumors of the backdooring. I'm not... I'm not here to make any judgment calls or assume. I don't know because everything is just he, he said, she said type of deal. And you know that I do not mess around when it comes with that. If I don't know for a fact, I just don't know. So with that being said, guys, I was able to get my hands on a pair size 11. It's been legit checked. It's been legit checked through multiple credible sources. Uh, it's been legit checked through the Check Check app. I have proof of all this. So I just want to basically show you guys the details about this shoe. I am super in love with this shoe. Um, as far as I'm concerned, if there's a lot of hate or if you're hating on these shoes, it's probably one reason, one of two reasons. One being because the price, you just can't, you know, pay that resale price. And I get it, guys. The resale price is absurd. It's crazy. Um, second reason is just you couldn't just get your hands on a pair, didn't have the source to get a pair in your hands. So with that being said, guys, I just want to go over the details, spread some light on this shoe um, about authenticating at least this pair, show you what I believe is to be the reasons or the things to check for an authentic pair. But most overall, guys, I just want to show the quality of the shoe. I'm not here to say your, fair's pick, your pair is fake. This it has to be this way because I've only seen one pair. I've had it legit checked through multiple people, like I said. So this pair, I can almost guarantee from what I have, the information that I have, the source, these are authentic. And so I'm just going to give you guys some, some knowledge on what comes on the box, what comes on the shoe, what it looks like. So let's get to it. So first things first, guys, is the imprint on the top of the lid. Super dope logo. I love when they go all out on the packaging. You got the number here. Um, just I love the extra stuff, guys. I'm all about presentation. If you know about my customs, when I do a custom on a caliber of this level, I love to do stuff like this. So this is super, super dope. I thought, I didn't know this was coming in the, in the box. Super awesome. Super, super just detailed. It's crazy. I love these little, little mementos or, 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 you know, just, just collectibles. Now doing the legit check, I was asked, of course, as always remove the insoles. Guys, you have to be super, super careful removing these insoles. It does take a blow dryer or some source of heat. Um, I used a heat gun. I wouldn't recommend using a heat gun if you're not using one every day and don't know how hot it can get. You can use a blow dryer, peel it nice and slow. Um, but man, again, these are all stitched on, as you can see. I was able to get mine off without tearing any pads off. Now, I have been hit up all week with people with their pairs asking me how do they repair it. They watch videos on YouTube. They watch videos just anywhere they could. They hit up customizers. Guys, there's real no way to save this and make it look back to factory. My best suggestion is if you ripped a piece off, just simply stick it right back in the place that it was and everyone's gonna understand that, hey, he had to pull them out to get them legit checked. They tore, but if you put it back in the same spot, you're never even gonna feel the difference on your feet. Don't put glue on it. Because what's going to happen is you're going to get the residue. It's going to come through and show these dark spots. It's going to be a bigger eyesore. I think people are going to be more understanding that, hey, it ripped because we had to legit check them. Not everyone knows they have to use a heat gun to get these out or a blow dryer. So take your time. Peel them slow. They came out really slow even when I used heat. And as you can tell on this one, guys, you know, it's still going to cause some flaws. But that's better than ripping it. But again, it's better than trying to repair it. So... Don't stick no glue on that. It's not gonna work. Okay, I noticed that it also has two pieces of paper that comes with a shoe, two different colors. One side matches the other, but on the outside of this one, it's a little bit of a sale color. So a white paper and a sale color. And of course, the blue laces didn't come with these, but every one that I talked to, every credible source that I talked to, just because it didn't come with blue laces means it's not authentic. So these do have the laces. It does have the regular lace, um, whatever you want to call that. I'm not even sure plastic that holds them on. 
super, super legit. Um, a lot of people are like, yo, I don't like the glittery. It's not really a glitter shirt. In the view of a camera or through a picture, this almost looks like a, 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 a fogged or a textured mirror. You know, when they smoke out the mirrors um, or your, your glass, fog out the glass in your bathroom so you can't see through it, but you can still see the image. This is kind of what it looks like. It does have a little bit of a glitter effect, but it's not a glitter, guys. It's not like they just splattered a bunch of paint on this or speckled it with silver paint. Um, it looks amazing, guys. The signature, of course, the Wings logo. I will hold this here so people can compare their pairs. Um, I did do a black light test on this, and it does have the smudges. Um, so just like the Travis Scott, so you can compare with that as well. Um, but man, just super, super, super clean sneaker. Of course, your regular insoles. It came with the black laces with the traditional one lace through the bottom holes. Um, and then again, on the inside of the shoes, rumored has it's nicely stitched in there. looks really good. The soles are nice and firm on these. That's always something I look at when I'm buying a shoe that I just don't know of the authenticity. A uh, squishy sole is always a dead giveaway to a pair that's not authentic. Super, super, I love the Milky Souls. Always been a big fan of it. When they redid the Yeezy 350 Zebra with the cream soles, um, I liked it so much better than the first release that got super yellow. I really dig this Milky, Milky Soul. Has a slight hint of a vanilla sail color to the midsole. Um, so it has kind of that age feel to it. Super clean. Show you guys. Pair. Now the leather on this is good quality guys. Um, with that being said, it is a little bit stiff. Um, it's a stiffer leather. It's not like your obsidians or your Travis Scott's. Um, and I think they did that for a reason. Um, I preferably would have, I, I would have liked to seen preferably the, the, the obsidian white panel leather, but I get it. It doesn't fit the shoe or the colorway. Um, because it didn't come like that. So I get why they use this. Um, I think it's great leather. Sometimes it's just not the best for a shoe. Um, it's going to crease. Um, but overall, I think the shoe is super clean. Love the quality. So let's take this paper out. Again, just the extra insult. Let's go over the box. And this is one of the pictures that they request that has the stamp up here in the back of the box. Um, I don't know if the placement matters, um, but here's the label. If you guys want to see that label, see if that'll focus in. So if you're legit checking anything and just want to see what it compares to this pair, there you go. Go ahead and screenshot that or pause it. This here. I tried to get the best lighting I could so you guys could see the texture. Because I, I imagine the fake pairs, the box is not going to be as vibrant, just like everything else. Um, they always seem a little bit duller, like on the Unions, the Union Jordan 1s, the box on the fakes are just not as vibrant as the uh, authentic pair. Um, but with that being said, there's not much else to that. Super clean. But there is two pieces of paper and they are different color. You can see the two-tone. One is white and one is cream. And it looks like just one side is cream. It's hard to tell with this lighting but it looks like the outer side is cream. And then on the other pair, let me see if it's just flip or reverse. Nope, it looks like there's a white one on both sides and then a cream and then a lighter color on the inside of that paper as well. I don't know how big of a deal that is. I imagine they probably won't get that right on the early releases of the fake pairs. They never get it right. Um, there's something that's gotta be changed always. Um, but guys, super special shoe. Only 12,000 pairs made. Um, it has... So the font on this inside tag, I know with like the Jordan 1 Unions, it's super blurry. That's how you, it's a dead giveaway. The font on this is super clear. Has the date there on this one. And then on this one, it has your number. Again, super clear font. Easy to read. It is number 3207. So this is a pretty low number. Pretty low number. Um... But man, just a great shoe, guys. I I dig it. I don't know, you know, how you guys feel about it. The guys that got the pairs, what do you think about them? Leave your comments, your suggestions. If you think they should have changed something, I'd love to hear it as well. But overall, guys, 
I don't think I would change one thing about this shoe. Usually I'm the guy that picks out one thing that should be different, like when I did the Travis Scott reverse, made it look like the low top. This shoe to me is just, it's, it's just amazing all the way around the quality, the feel of the shoe. Just, just great, man. They did a good job with these. So shout out to Trophy Room and shout out to Jordan Brand, Nike. Super clean shoe, happy with it. So I just thought I'd give you guys a little bit of information on this shoe because I do believe this pair to be 100% authentic. Like I said, I have the proof from the Check Check app, um, from two credible, huge credible sources in the game. Um, I'm not gonna put their name out just because um, if I was in their position, I wouldn't want it to be that way um, without their permission. Of course, I didn't ask it, so I will not, but I am pretty confident these are 100% authentic. I will put my name behind them. Um, but again, guys, here's the bottoms, because I know a lot of people want to see the bottoms because a lot of uh, non-authentic pairs come a little bit different. So adjusted in the lighting, just know the difference again here's that side the stitch super clear font guys easy to read um beautiful insoles man you guys know i love insoles i love i just love every i love lace packs i love all the small details about shoes and they nailed it on this one so with that being said guys i'm just gonna make this one short and simple beautiful sneaker i'm glad i got it um just wanted to show you guys how cool these are. So I appreciate you guys. If you guys like the videos, uh, if you like the custom videos, the how-to paints, um, anything, hit that uh, like button, subscribe to my channel. I appreciate everything. I appreciate everybody. Thank you. God bless.